Lara, the Iowa Supreme Court reversed a temporary block on this abortion law that was passed last July. That means that in about three weeks, this law will take effect. The law bans abortion once a fetal heartbeat is detected. Doctors say cardiac activity can be detected as early as six weeks of pregnancy before most women know they are pregnant. In a four to three decision, the state Supreme Court ruled this morning that abortion restrictions can be found constitutional as long as lawmakers have a rational basis for passing them. The high court sent the case back to district court, but Drake Law Professor Sally Frank says this decision is likely final. The district court will then dismiss the case because the standard is rational basis and the, US, and the Iowa Supreme Court has said that the uh, statute meets that test. There are limited circumstances under this Iowa law that would allow for abortion after cardiac activity is detected. That includes reported cases of rape or incest within a certain time frame. Other exceptions include the, if the fetus has a fetal abnormality that is, quote, incompatible with life or to save the life and health of the mother. Now, under the Iowa court rules, it will take at least 21 days for this case to go back to the district court. That's when the law would take effect. Abortion will remain legal up to 20 weeks during that time. Our Alyssa Gomez was at the court when this decision came down. And Alyssa, you witnessed the reaction of the crowds there this morning to the ruling, and you've been talking to Iowans about how they're feeling. That's right, Amanda. Before that decision even came down, groups that both oppose and support the law were gathered here at the state capitol, anxiously waiting for that decision. And once it came through, there was an emotional emotional reaction from both sides. The Iowa Coalition for Life cheered out in support in the Capitol Rotunda. Meanwhile, leaders from Iowans for Health Liberty struggled to hold back tears. Both groups shared thoughts shortly after the court's decision. This is a monumental win for Iowa women, for Iowa families, for babies. A baby is a unique and distinct person from its mother. It's devastating to think about when women come and they are experiencing life-threatening, life-changing complications of pregnancy. What they want are the options in front of them. A huge decision that's certainly sparking mixed reactions across the state. Live from the Supreme Court building, Alyssa Gomez, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Alyssa, thank you. Well, Governor Kim Reynolds has defended this ban since signing it last year. She says there is nothing more worthy of defense than the quote, innocent unborn, and that she's glad the state Supreme Court has upheld the quote, will of the people of Iowa. The governor added the state will work to develop policies to encourage strong families, including promoting adoption and protecting in vitro fertilization, but did not specify what those policies would be. Iowa Democrats also shared their reaction to the state Supreme Court's decision this morning. Iowa House Minority Leader Jennifer Confirst called the ruling devastating. She says Iowa Republicans have gone too far and that everyone deserves the right to make their own health care decisions. KCCI brought you this breaking decision as soon as it came down this morning on our KCCI mobile app. Our team is working to get you answers on some of the questions stemming from this ruling. You can turn tune in to KCCI. CI 8 News at 5 and 6 to learn more about the future of abortion access in Iowa.